Hello, my crafty friends. Today I am sharing a card that I made for my Divinity Designs design team post. I am so excited that I get to be a guest designer for Divinity Designs for the March through May term. And I'll have lots of projects to share with you during my term. This is going to be the first one. And because it's interactive, I have a little walkthrough for you. If you follow me, you know I love making Z fold cards, flip fold cards, flip it cards. So this is a die set that I've actually had for a number of years. It is called the Vintage Label Flip Fold with Layers. And it's wonderful. So it die cuts the card base. All of that cutting, scoring, all of that work is done for you. And it comes with the layering dies for this panel here and this panel and a couple of labels as well. So easy, easy to make a polished looking card and it goes together quickly. All the edges cut straight and the layers have a little embossed detail on the edges as well. So what I use to make my card today is this beautiful blooms pattern paper. I haven't had a lot of experience with the Divinity Designs pattern paper and I have to say how much I love it. I love the prints in this. It is sized for slimline cards. Some of the prints are vertical and some are horizontal so lots of versatility in that and I actually used it for my first three cards that I will be sharing and that's what I used on this one. Some craft card stock. The stamp set is this lovely raspberries. It's not red rubber, but it is a, it's a purple rubber stamp. So rubber stamps always stamp so beautifully. And then the double stitched circles. Now these have a stitch line on either side of the cut line. And if you follow me, you know that's a detail I really, really like. So that is all I used for my card today. I used one of the included labels. I die cut it white embossed, the raspberry image. And then I painted it with Distress Oxide inks. And I wanted to show you, let's put it against something maybe white. So all I do is I smoosh my ink pads onto an acrylic block. And then I pick up that color with a water brush. I can add more water, less water as needed. And then when I'm done, I just wash my stamping block off. So that is how I painted in the raspberries because the Distress Oxide inks are formulated so they show up on a darker cardstock. So that worked really well. And then when I was done, I decided it needed a little something, something. So again, I added the inks to my stamping block and with a wet brush, I splattered it. The God Bless was white embossed on the smallest little vintage label that's included in the vintage label flip fold die set. And inside I used the same size label to die cut the pattern paper and I laid it out so that there was the flow so it was all cut next to each other. And then the sentiment was stamped on the double stitched circles inked and popped up with thin foam tape. This card really did not take very long at all. It is a standard A2 size card folded four and a quarter by five and a half. Even with the, the thin foam tape there and the layers and the folds, it is thin and light enough that it will mail for a single stamp. If you enjoyed my video today, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more. And that's it for me today.